Let's go. Grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice. Take it for a walk while we talk about our lives. I just wanna spend some quality time. Some quality time. And I don't need a gift. I don't need Hello, you guys, and good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Paloma. I usually don't sound as busted, but last night I went to a Drake concert. Drake was amazing. I, I know we're not here to talk about Drake, and I'm so sorry to just like, I'm still shook. Also, would you believe how I told you that I like straightened my hair last night and like this is what it looks like now straight I full-on like straightened it for the event last night and this is what it looks like love it So today is a big day Um, it's not how I planned it I am going to a musical theater audition today and it is for the Adams family I'm going to be auditioning for the role of Wednesday and I would not sign up for an audition and be like Oh, yeah, let me totally do this if I haven't done this in a long time if I didn't know the track and have played the character before so I don't feel as like nervous about it and I just think it'd be a fun experience to do it huge part of being an actor is like auditioning and just like exercising that muscle so what a better way than to just like dive back into it <laughs> I know it sounds like a little crazy but I feel like it'd be fun like why not who cares I have just like a little stack of my old headshots that I need to get rid of let me go sing we'll like get a little bit of like that adrenaline again and like that spark and remember why I love it so here we go. It's audition day, baby. Shouldn't be wasting my throat. Like, what am I doing? I already did so much screaming last night. I just love this. I also can't forget to use this as my greens. This is not sponsored, but it could be. Um, I do love Bloom. I've been using it for a year. It's my third container. It's like carrot powder, beet, root, kale, broccoli, spinach, like all the stuff. And I just want to make sure She's getting all her greens. So this is actually like the very, very first thing that I always have. So I just want to like go out to this audition and like try. It doesn't hurt to like go and see and like, I'm not gonna lie to you, this audition is quite far. It's like about an hour drive. So I am gonna be a little stricter on the sheet about what I'll accept. You, well, I, let me explain this. When you go to an audition, you show up and you fill out a form and they will ask you like, what roles are you auditioning for? And will you accept other roles? Usually I'll put like, will accept ensemble, we'll accept this, whatever. For this experience, I'm gonna put only Wednesday, will not accept ensemble or like thing else that I would be open to because it's so far. And I'm really just like looking to go for the audition experience. Remember that this is just a part of the process. Being an actor is auditioning and it's always happening. I just know because of friends in their production and she told me about the auditions and it was short notice, but usually you know more ahead of time for a musical theater so you have time to prep. It honestly is like really short notice when you're doing TV. Like I remember when I used to do theater all the time and I lived in San Diego, I would be in rehearsal for a show and they'd be like, oh, can you drive to LA like tonight because you have an audition and I would literally leave from the rehearsal to go to audition. And it would like kill me because I was in the middle of a musical rehearsal and I can like specifically remember Grease. Like that was a musical that I had a lot of auditions during and it was really killing me to like leave my castmates. But like, to tell your LA agent that you can't make an audition. You can pack your things and leave. There's the door. There's the door, bitch! Today, we are gonna give it our best effort and just, you know, throw ourselves in the pool and try to learn how to swim again. That'll work, right? Oh. This is very good. I have the throat coat, the Port's Throat Help Original with Slippery Elm. This is the stuff I love to use after I come back from a show callback or audition, just to help that really like tiredness. Okay, the urge to tell the microwave, okay, okay, oh, my bad. I'm not usually a tea drinker when it doesn't come to audition days, callbacks, and when I'm in a show. I'm a coffee girl, big coffee and like a little bit of bread girl, but like, I feel like every person is different and every body's different. So you can't be like, you are not supposed to drink caffeine on the day of auditions because it will dry out your throat. Well, yes, because caffeine dehydrates you. So you shouldn't be drinking coffee if you're dehydrated because the goal is to be as hydrated as possible, right? So I don't really think that a cup of coffee is gonna hurt you if you have it, if you're super hydrated, you've been having water, you've been having Pedialyte, which as you can see my little corner over here, I have my liquid IV, just getting my voice super, super hydrated. One of the things that they say not to 
eat the day of is like dairy. So they'll say, okay, don't have milk, don't have cheese, don't have any sort of dairy because it will cause extra mucus. I have found that when I am like sick and I do need that extra mucus and I'm gonna show, I will drink milk and it will like help lubricate it. And so in those instances, it is helpful. But when I'm like extra like, lubricated I shouldn't be having dairy and I my body does react that way to dairy where I shouldn't be having dairy to begin with so I try to avoid it on days of auditions callbacks and shows really just listen to your body and figure out what your throat needs and I can tell throat is tired and needs this tea I tried really hard not to scream last night but that was really hard and tonight's audition's pretty late, which is kind of a bummer. My appointment's at 8.45, which kind of sucks because then I feel like I'm gonna spend all day just like thinking about it and just like getting ready. Like I just wanna like go and do it and be done with it. <laughs> so much like excited energy behind it. And I have not auditioned in so dang long that I feel like I'm just like so nervous and I just like oh, 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 don't know what I'm doing. Um, I, hold me. I think I'm gonna make some eggs for breakfast today and use my little egg maker to show you how it works. It's so easy and I just really want, if you like eggs, I want you to buy it because it's changed my life, please. I will provide the link below. It's for you non-cooking ladies out there. All right, I'm gonna break it down for you. What I do is just fill up this little cup. It's so easy, it explains it on the side. If you want your egg to be soft, medium, or hard, and depending how you want it cooked is how you fill up the line. All right, I filled it all the way up to the hard line. I'm gonna be doing them hard today because I usually do them soft and make them all yolky and runny, but I add Valentina, which is hot sauce, and lemon, and that doesn't sound like it's good for my stomach and throat for today, so I'm gonna do a hard boiled egg and just do pepper and salt. Pour it in, put on the little basket, and then the same cup duels as a weapon. Just get a, like an egg puncher. So you take the egg and you, on the bottom, you then use the poker to then just slowly, I have really shaky hands and yes, I have in fact like crushed it. So I'm very nervous that this will happen again. Okay, see, ta-da, can you see that? So there's a little hole in the egg. The egg upright, put the lid on. You don't secure it, you just put the lid on. Push the button. And then in a couple of moments, she will literally just start singing. Like, dun, 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 dun. you'll see. So I got a bowl filled with ice and water. So once the egg is done, I can like toss it in the little bath. Um, I think it helps. And I'm saying I think because I am trusting blindly what my boyfriend told me, which is it helps peel the eggs easier and I believe it stops them from cooking anymore. But it's hard boiled, so why would it matter? I do as I'm told. Timer. Ta da! Be careful of the venting hole over here. I have burnt myself. Pick it up. I like to dip my fingers in the cold ice water, grab the egg, toss it in there, and let it cool. The egg's in the ice bath. Perfect. Beep. Bone apple tea. Alright my egg and then I'm gonna go take a shower do a little bit of work because we are in the middle of the work week I'll check in with you guys when I'm all shower y'all update I'm out of the shower fresh face fresh body I think I'm gonna leave my hair like this it's cute with the half up half down ponytail look and I'm getting that youthful look that I'm trying to go for but I think I want to also turn these into braids you know sprinkle a little bit of Wednesday. I can I can absolutely almost 100% bet that there will be so many people in all black with their braids and sometimes girls even go like the whole length where they're wearing like a little black dress and like a white collar. I, I think I like this braid. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm gonna do minor minor makeup. It really always depends about what character you're going for and Wednesday is set to be around 19 to 25 ish is kind of what they're asking for. So definitely Definitely youthful. I'm gonna keep it light on the eye makeup, light on everything. All right, I'm happy with how that looks. That's cute.
the biggest disappointment you know. I know that I'm letting you down. All right, we've moved to my room. It's time to decide what I'm wearing. As I mentioned, I'm trying to dress like the character, but not so where it's like, that's a costume. So it's probably going to be along like some sort of black. This is the Adams Family. Although, one time I did like a pretty big choice to wear a yellow dress rather than black because I knew everyone in the audition room would be wearing black and I would stick out. And Wednesday actually wears a yellow dress in the musical when she's trying to fit in with the other family. So I thought it was like special to wear like a little yellow dress, but no longer have that yellow dress so I don't think I can make like that kind of big statement it's audition day it's not that deep we're just gonna keep it casual so let me show you a couple of my options I just got these new jeans they're like baggy and oversized which I like because for Wednesday I'm not trying to wear tight clothing that's not her tee I'm gonna try to wear a bra that like flattens me out baggy clothes I'm gonna look grown black baggy jeans and black long sleeve just very basic and just casual I'm gonna sing my 32 bars and leave which by the way I will get into what 32 bars is if you don't know just yet second option it is a dress and a shirt underneath it and then I wear black leggings and then like some sort of like flat like black slipper I'm gonna try on both outfits to see what looks best so okay so this is the first look literally so simple so casual relaxed pants with a black long sleeve all right, and here is our second option. Cute little look. Ugh, I'm like looking at it now in the camera and I feel like this is the winner. Like, like this, ha this might be it, you guys. And I'm auditioning for the role of Wednesday Adams. My book contains all of my musical theater material in it. This is the book that I hand to the pianist when I walk into the room and I tell them, hi, I'm going to be singing Breathe from In the Heights and I'm going to be starting at this measure. Every audition has their own regulations of how many bars you can sing, meaning how many measures of the music you can sing. So the requirement for this audition is 32 bars. Probably easiest if I show you guys on the sheet music that I'll be using for the audition. You literally want to count out the bars right here. So 16 to 32 bars of music is that's how many of these. 32, you count them, the bars singing all the way to letting you down and that's the last measure and I'll tell the pianist to cut off right there and then theme. In addition to taking my book to the audition, I have to take my headshot and resume. Here we go. Let me show you. So I already told you guys so you know that this is an old headshot. So please do not judge me. So this is my old headshot. Look at her. Who is she? What I need to do is attach my resume to this, and I'm gonna staple them on all four corners, and then there's like a little bit of paper left, so all I do is just like cut that. It's stapled together. Something they will absolutely require of you. I have to emphasize, because let me tell you, there are so many people that show up not stapled. Don't do it. And listen, I understand the vibes of not having a stapler. Me too. Just run your ass to a staples, staple that shit. What I do is just cut this little piece so it's clean and ready to be turned in. All right, you guys, here is the final look. Very simple. I straightened out my hair a little bit more just for touch-up powder. Didn't want to do, like, blush or anything. Didn't want to give Wednesday any color. Ready? Got my stuff? Let's go. Hey, you guys. I just made it to the audition. My phone is probably literally shaking because my hands are shaking. I... The whole drive got me like really, really nervous. I'm just like so ready to go in there. I really enjoy this experience and I'm trying to remove myself from any outcome or like any callbacks. I can already hear the voices in my head like, watch you not get a callback. Also, how embarrassing. So like, it's a lot of just like fear of like shame or embarrassment and I'm trying to remove that and just like really focus on the experience and being present on this moment that's about to happen. So I will check in with you guys when I'm out here. Wish me so much luck, okay? I did it can you tell I'm like sweating like look at me oh my gosh okay so here's the actual tea it went well but I'm not gonna lie to you the pianist the guy like who's doing my music was going like too fast or too slow at some parts and so then like I could tell so I was like trying to find my place in the middle of while I was singing but then I found it because there was a break and then I just ripped it the last note and I was clearly doing my hardest to keep up with him and whatever like when i finished the pianist looks at me and he goes i'm so sorry i was all over the place that's just showbiz <laughs>
there's so much truth in that. That's just just showbiz. But I think it went well. They said they're sending out emails tomorrow. As soon as I get an email, I will like turn on the camera and tell you guys what it says. It was just, it felt really good to just stand on stage and be like, hi, I'm gonna be singing for you and just like really give it to them. And it felt so good. I mean, she's sweating. I don't wanna get too corny, so I'll cut it here, but I just wanna say that I'm so happy I'm doing this. I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much for all the encouragement and all the love. So thank you so much. And I hope that the next video is callbacks. I'll see you guys, bye.